So today we're going to be doing another video on my Lexus IS300 because you guys seem to like that car more than my 240 that I posted. So let's get right to it. Okay, so for today's video, it's going to be something really quick and fun that all of you guys can do at home for relatively cheap. And that is some modification to your tail lights. So I'm not really a fan of the stock IS300 tail lights, mainly because they, I don't know, they don't really look aggressive. They look kind of goofy in my opinion. So what I'm going to try to do is try to imitate the spider tail lights, which I'll put a picture up on the side of the video so you can see what they look like, but with vinyl. And as you will see shortly, basically what I'm going to be doing is making sure this top portion is red while this bottom part is just clear. Now the reason why I'm doing vinyl instead of something like VHT Nightshade is because the Nightshade actually turns kind of matte and it looks really gross after a while. And I was going to do them with vinyl because I like the quality of vinyl. Vinyl is a little deeper red than just uh, nightshade red, which is super expensive by the way. Like it used to be super cheap back in the day and now it's, they're coming up in price. So that's how I painted it. So I'm gonna try this cheap tint, which uh, was appropriately uh, labeled I Love JDM, which is, I found this for six bucks on Amazon. So let's see how well this works. They're $6 or even the cheap $240, so. I don't feel as bad if I try this and it doesn't work out because it's six dollars. I don't feel as bad if I try this and it doesn't work out because it's six dollars. So, I hope this works out. <laughs> so this is not going to be a how-to video. This is mostly going to be me just doing it and seeing if the six dollar vinyl is worth it. And for this video, I am going to use some knifeless tape, which is really expensive, and I'm just going to use it because I have it. If you don't have knifeless tape, you can use um, just regular painter's tape and you can cut what you want afterwards, if that makes sense. And have some water in a spray bottle. And I don't have an awesome squeegee, so I just have this plastic squeegee and a rag. So this car is completely filthy. So what I'm gonna do is set up the GoPro and clean the tail lights, and then we'll start uh, wrapping this. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, but yeah. and after. So from far away, it actually does look decent at best, but once you get up close, I have like a million little tiny air bubbles. So if you have some nice IS300 tail lights, you wanna sponsor the build, hey, hit me up, because uh, you know, I'd rather have the real ones than the, uh, the $6 budget ones, but hey. Um, it is what it is. And actually when I bought this car, this tail light was a, had a big old hole in it. So I found one at the junkyard, but the inner chrome, it was all spidery and stuff. I don't know if you can tell. Eh, that's a decent angle. It's actually internally all messed up. And with the power of editing, we are now done with both tail lights. Both done. Actually, this one might have come out maybe 2% better than the other one. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but there are a million bubbles in each. So if you're good with vinyl, I'm sure you can make these look great. Uh, the material was again like $6, Amazon special. So <laughs> you can blame the cheap material or my inexperience with wrapping or this 35 degree weather that we have because it's, it's cold. And, you know, the more I stand back, the better it looks. This is definitely a 12 to 15 footer. It actually looks decent from this far. 
and the color is nice and bright, so yeah, that's that's good. Hey, and if you're on the freeway, more than likely people are not going to be able to see all these air bubbles. Part of me really wants to peel these because they there there's a lot of air bubbles in them, but at the same time, I just spent the last hour putting them on. I might just leave them for a bit and see how they go. And if you happen to be owner of a company that sells these or can hook it up with a discount, hey, slide into my messages. Let's let's get something going because I really like the red and clear look. And you can sponsor this 500 uh, horsepower build that we got going. I'm kidding. It's, it's not a horsepower build yet. She's a sturdy, automatic workhorse that gets me to work and goes to buy me chicken nuggets. And like I mentioned earlier, it's really cold outside and I can't feel my nose, so I'm gonna go inside and get some chicken nuggets. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you wanna see on the Lexus. If you wanna see some cheap mods, if you want whatever it is, let me know. I feel like there's more interest in the Lexus rather than the 240. So yeah, let me know what you wanna see and uh, we can make uh, some cool things happen with this car. Peace.